Hey gamers, tonight we're going to be testing Luke FZ's FSR2 to FSR3 mod in The Last of Us Part 1 on my Steam Deck OLED. Firstly, I'm going to show the gameplay without the mod turned on. Just a, a small section of the game. It's going to have some combat in there to give us an idea of how the game performs as a baseline. And then we're going to run through the same section, restart it, um, enable the mod and see how the performance differs between one and the other. Um, short story, there is a decent uplift in frames per second with this mod enabled. And then I will do a, a section at the end of the video uh, that will show how to install the mod onto your Steam Deck, if you so wish. Let's get started. So we're kind of operating at around 35 to 40 frames per second. Okay, let's swap weapons. With my aim, I need a shotgun. I do have the game on easy mode, just to make it easier to show everything. the bullets coming from. Okay, let's, um, so I've already installed the mod. Um, I'm using version 0.9.0. .0. The latest is 0 0.10.0, .0, but I couldn't get that to work on the Steam Deck. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, so to enable it, 
firstly, you've got to make sure that VSync is off um, and that you're, you, you know, we've got a frame rate cap is unlocked just so that we've got the maximum frames so that it can generate um, enough frames as well. And all I need to do is change the scaling mode to NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution. Um, we were on FSR2 quality, we're going to stick with um, DLSS quality. So, whoops, do you want to apply the changes? Yes, I do. And then graphics wise, um, I've just gone auto preset, which is pretty much low across the board. It does have some of the, the, the stuff that I normally turn off on, so chromatic aberration, film grain, but it doesn't really matter in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause while I reload that section and then I'll restart the video. So here we are, we've loaded um, into the game again in the same section. You can see there's a few glitches on this cutscene with the mod turned on. Again, a bit of glitching at the bottom. In fact, I, I wasn't seeing this earlier, but there's a lot of um, artefacting down at the bottom of the screen. That, that's not normal. Okay, I don't think it's the mod, I think it's just me with terrible aim, so I can't blame lag or anything. Oh, come on. I swear I saw someone there earlier. Oh, his leg came off. I haven't seen that before. And again. Work this out. I love this game. All right, I think that's the last of them. You okay? Yeah, I guess so. Good. We need to get the hell out of here. You know the drill. Look around, see if there's anything we can use. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video again and in the next section I'll show how to install. 
here we are in desktop mode. Um, I've also attached a keyboard, um, well it's a combined keyboard and trackpad that folds up, it's just a portable one that I have for, for the um, handheld devices. And what we're going to do is just open up a folder and this is where I've downloaded the um, mod 2. As you can see it's v0.9.0 and although I believe it says in the game that it's uh, FSR 2.1 uh, the one I'm going for is FSR 2.2, so um, FSR um, 2, FSR 3, 220 zip. So I've also got a folder here where I've navigated to where the game is on the SSD. So in on my machine, it's in the slash home dot local, which is a hidden directory. So to see that, you would come across and select the burger menu and tick this little box to show hidden files. So it's .local and then there should be a folder share. Within that a folder called Steam, then Steam Apps, then Common and then The Last of Us Part 1. So I'm going to go back to FSR2 and I'm just going to open this file and just drag the contents out here. And then I'm going to go into this FSR2, FSR3, common.zip. And I'm going to um, select this, 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 and this file. We don't need the .reg files here. And I'll just drag this over onto here. And then, for, for some reason, this is meant to be a directory, but it comes with a, a name of optional. I'm just going to rename the file by right clicking on it. I'm going to rename positioning the cursor just ahead of the backslash or forward slash, sorry. And then I will just delete. And so this is just making sure it's named nvngx.dll. Okay, and now I'm just going to select all these. And I'm going to drag them into the last of it. Oh, I've got them all. Oh, I had them all selected. Let me try that again. And I'm just going to drag them all into the last of us part one folder. Because I've already done this, um, it's complaining. So I'm just going to click this apply to all, minimize this because it's in the way, and just say overwrite. And that's the files dealt with. Um, so we can just minimize this. What we're going to want to do next is go into Steam and Library and find The Last of Us in the list. Here we are. I'll click on that and then we'll go into the cog because what we need to do is we need to set these launch options and this is just to tell it to, to use the DLL file we've copied in there. Um, I will put this in the description for the video so you can copy and paste rather than try and type this out. Um, also while we're here what we do is go into compatibility and we want to say tick the box for force the use of a specific Steam Play compati compati oh, can't talk tonight. compatibility tool. And we want to set that to Proton Experimental. You'll find if it's not Proton Experimental, then the game will just sort of start and, and stop uh, relatively instantly. And that is all you need to do to install the game. As I say, make sure it's version 0.9.0 and that you've you've made these changes on the config and then you can just leave gaming mode um, sorry leave desktop mode by clicking this return to gaming mode and start the game from within steam i hope this is useful thanks for watching